Welcome back to another episode of Backpack Carol. Let's just jump straight into it. You don't all know what we've been doing. We've been doing our massive club build here, and it's been working pretty well for us, especially with our extra energy. Let's just get straight into it. Oh no! I didn't factor in that our footwear was armor. Apologies for those who are waiting for that big reveal at the end of our last episode, and we're wanting to call me out on it. Um, yeah. Foolish, foolish me. Okay. So we take you out here first. We need to pop this once, which gives us enough damage from this to one-shot basically everybody else. How much damage is this? 28? Yeah, we'll do it once more. We'll go there, and then there, and then 35. Okay, so we do manage to get you. So I think we now move these away from that. So let's see, if we move these away, these are currently 45 damage. What about now? 43 damage. So these boots were really not making that much of a difference there for us anyway. That's absolutely A-OK -okay in my books. We would like something that kind of buffs everything. Like if we went for this, for example, it gets everything there. And yeah, these are just kind of additions that we can go for. All right, well, you know, problem solved. Still um, a little bit sketchy there to have ran, found ourselves in that situation in the first place there. That was my mistake. We've got a lot of rare items to sell. We've got a lot of space to clear up. Do we have any shops, please? That's all I ask for. Let's reveal two paths this way. Okay. Um, one, two, three, 25 damage. That's you there. And the poison. The poison's a little bit annoying. But there's not much we can do about it. It goes through the block. We're going to have to take um, a little bit. Oh, hang on. The poison's at the end of the turn, isn't it? Okay, so we're fine. Never mind. Never you mind. Ooh. Assassin's Dagger. On you steals three damage. On kill, gets plus one permanent damage. Okay, we swap it out for this weapon for sure. We've only got 23 base damage. That's already quite nice. And it can be used multiple times per turn. Very, very nice. Okay, lovely. We've also got some items that we can sell. We have a key sword. We've got a rapier. We don't care about the rapier. It's not going to fit into our deck here. Velvet bag. Create shurikens. We get rid of the skull wand. It's a big one. We get rid of the steel boots. It's a big one that's not giving us too much either. And the chef's hat is not doing anything for us just yet. So now we've got a whole bunch. Um, we do still have the guarding band and the charm bracelet. Maybe we could have bought that a little bit better. But um, we'll see what we have. Energy clothing. Do we buy a second chess piece just to get more energy there? I'm certainly not opposed to it. Do we have any options in here? Not in here. The only one that we can get is the chest piece. Um, the helmet, the footwear, everything else does not count as clothing apparently. Now we go for you here first. Let's go one, two. Okay, we can do it this way. Three and four. That gives us permanent damage on this, which now means it does even more damage after the battle. Now, it does get minus one each use from the hourglass, but plus one on kill for non-summon. So although it looks like it hasn't changed in damage just yet, it will do for our later combat. So don't you worry, there is some difference behind the scenes. Okay, you're dealing some spikes there. It's a bit nasty. But let's go for some block. Then let's proc up our weapons here to go super powered later on in the combat. So 63 damage. What I'm hoping that we can do is we can basically just... Oh, there you go. No more thorns. So we hit 63 here, and then we go 23 here, and that's another kill. And I think this should now be 28 damage. There we go. So we can see it getting stronger as time goes on. Now, speaking of which... Ooh, the issue again... Oh, we can... Now that we don't have to be in way of the boots there, though, we can play it a little bit more sensible, shall we say. Like this, for example we can go for some food now these can't be used because that's diagonal to this but we definitely want that back we want that back so we take this out and we take the legendary bracelet there of course but as it stands all of our weapons are still able to be used maybe we go like this though so that they can all be buffed by that that means that this won't be able to be used how much do i care about the shuriken not much at all actually we can pop like this can't we whips in this row and extra damage. Yeah, that works quite well. Now it also buffs our Assassin's Dagger. And I think that was some nice little positioning there. 
Now we have this, we go back here, we add energy to this clothing as well. And now <laughs> we've got one energy from here and two energy from here. I think this might be the most energy that we've ever had beforehand. Um, we do have a key and we do have a lock to get into. So I think we get rid of this and we take this. Easy decision. Oh, actually, let's go to our shop. We already sold everything that we can, didn't we? Yes, okay, never mind. So even though we've got more rare and legendary items to sell, we can't do it on this floor, but maybe later on. Maybe later on. Who knows? What's behind this door? More treasures. Oh, no, never mind, a mimic. Um, 43. 38. 33. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Just want to make sure that we can use our assassin's dagger. The earlier that we get that going, the better. Now the stake is very good too. Lots and lots of energy gained from that. Lots of usages there too. How do we deal with that? Something like this, something like this. I'm gonna stake here. We obviously want to keep our charmed bracelet. Taking damage or weapons in that row dealing more damage. Let's go for this then. Just so we can sell it. Although, no, never mind. Why do we care about keeping... No, we do care about keeping that one. Take damage, add haste, or just more damage in that row. It's tricky. We go like this, we go like this. This one is the one that sits out. We now get the bonuses on both of these. The block still works. Good enough. We're losing items, we're losing those rares that we would like to sell. But I think we're still, you know, up, shall we say. Now we can hit you, we then finish you off. We can then finish you off in one hit there. And then we can just put up a little bit more block and we're taking no damage. Now you get rage, is that every turn? It does, it is. Sorry, excuse me. One, two, three. How much is that? 38, let's just do that as well. And then 35, wow, look at that, perfect. That permanent damage is stacking up very, very nicely. Everything there is very mediocre, so we'll skip that by. What are you trading? Get a rarer item of the same type. So what could we do? Like a rarer gem, for example? A rarer gem could be a lot of fun. Rarer item. Oh, it's an accessory, though. Don't know if we care about a rarer accessory, but we'll still try it. Why not? Wow. That was worth it. There's an item two spaces away. It's minus one energy. So is there a spot that we can currently use it in? That means two spaces away that way. That means two spaces away that way. We now need to build up somewhere like here, for example. So I think we buy here, here, and then pop this up here. So right now, it's giving us nothing, but soon enough it will give us extra energy. And our energy concerns are no longer a concern at all. Nothing there, we keep going. 11 gold at our forge, what do we have? Conducted to armor, damage to a weapon. No thanks, none of that's really that important. We go across here to our glory hunter. I know that I skipped by some of the exclamation points there, but honestly, with builds like this, it really doesn't matter who we face um, because we will take them out pretty damn easily. One, two. You're adding 14 spikes. We just put up one of these. We hit you here and we finish you off here. So as we talked about, we either could go all the way out this way and then pop it here. That's not a terrible idea either. Pop that there, for example. And what other? What else could we do? I think that's fine. We just go like this. Click done. Now get items. This goes here. That goes there. This can go across one. That can go there. If we wanted to, we can pop this. No, we can't pop that there. Not unless we move this, which we could look to do, I suppose. Why don't we try that? Pop that there as well. And then we just kind of block everything off with these. Oh, but the... That shield is the issue, though, if we were to do that, isn't it? So we can't do that. Okay, let's go back to how it was. This goes over here. This goes over here. There we go. Now it's all blocked off. No shields or anything next to us there. Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> that can't be there. So that has to be there. That has to be there or directly under. But we can't really justify doing that. Let's put all of these together. We take this. We go for some armor. Poison to enemy. Adds great luck. That looks great. And 
Do we have a key? We do not have a key. No keys. Okay, on we go. Exit the Magma Core. Three damage. Three damage does become nine damage, so why don't we actually add three damage to a weapon? How many times can we proc this? Yeah, sure, we'll go for that. Um, again, maybe we're spending a little bit too much money there, but I think it's still working out. Now, how much energy do we have? One, two, three, four, plus our starting three? Is that? Do we really have seven energy so far? Wow, okay, that's pretty goddamn amazing. We go here, there, 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 and there. Easy, easy damage being stacked up. Um, no thank you. And this run should really play itself now. We go one, two, three, finish you off, apply that there, and then put a little bit of block up as well. And you know, we can buy some time, and having this shield still is very, very useful, and the fact that it's very small as well certainly helps us feel a little bit better about keeping it long term. Extra water flask, did we have somewhere to head into with a key? Not just yet. Why don't we get rid of our liquid armor? Why don't we pop in our key there for later? And the water flask is interesting, but we can't really justify it, can we? Trade food for a cleaver, no thank you. Up we go. Okay, we've got a little bear. Now, the good news with our bear, you take less damage from projectiles, don't you? But not from our regular attacks. So we go one and two, and now we get all of your little summons to kill. Wait, are these considered summons, or do they get the bonus damage as well? It doesn't say summon. But let's see, if I do this, it's currently 60 damage. It should stay at 60 damage if it gets um, the extra bonus damage there. And it has. So we're actually gonna go all the way down here and just get as many shots on you as we possibly can. We're gonna play it slow as well. No need to rush. Now one, the weakness here is gonna be great. Even block, and then we'll just throw one more attack in. So 15 weakness. Is that weakness or is it slow? It is weak, perfect. We've got 60 damage there. We go one, two, three, easy. Let's see, that mana is not that great. The cool drinks are interesting. Wow, we could go for another clee, uh, club. Clee club. Um, can we fit it in here? I don't think it's worth taking. I think it's too hard to fit in. Even though I love the idea of just going full club meta, I just like the idea of our rat just smack him over the face. You know, throw that club away, get the next one, just keep going all the way down. Um, let's see, if we proc this, that should actually be enough to finish you off with 80 damage there, right? There we go, 80 damage exact. One, two. And you know what, let's free up some space, let's just finish you off this turn as well. We really didn't need to, but maybe it's going to work out for us. Ooh, Wizard's Robe is cool, but we're not going to take it. Um, everything else, unfortunately, can't really go here, unless we pop something like this. No, no matter what we pop there, oh, maybe that there, now we can maybe pop some weapons there. Like here, for example. Here we go. And the Shiv... Sorry, the Throwing Star can't go there, because it's next to something else. There we go. A use for our key that we picked up earlier. And some items for our troubles. We do have a Rapier, which we could sell. Honestly, might just take it. We should have taken our Liquid Luck earlier, shouldn't we? I'll take the Liquid Luck to use in this combat here, I think, even though we lose out on some energy in the process. We go here. Weakness onto you would be very nice. Let's see. Weakness onto you as well keeps you below the rage that you get to, so let's go. One, two, three, bit of block, bit of block. We finish it off later. Do you keep your thorns the whole time? Each combat adds four spikes. No, okay, so we can wait for you. Take you out a little bit later. We go one and finish you off. Two, three, four, and some block here. We probably should be throwing out our shivs here too, right? For 20 odd damage. It seems pretty good. And now another Assassin's Dagger. Our Assassin's Dagger is just going to be absolutely carrying us here this time. Would have been nice if we picked that up a tiny bit earlier, but even so, we picked that up early enough there to get some great value out of it. Keep on moving. We'll go for the enemy at the back. Let's see, one, two, 
one damage off. Guess we shiv them. That one there. We then go here. Here. And I guess we might as well, we should have done this at the beginning, but we might as well play this now that we've got the one energy. You know, that's why we're in a situation here where we don't have to plan everything 100% through. Um, it does help, and we can have better fights as a result, but when, when you're taking them out this easily, why not just stack up your damage on your main damage dealers here? Let's see. Hmm. Can't quite get there again, can we? 98 damage almost does it for us. Let's take the 48 there. But you're a summon. Because you're a summon. Yes, this enemy is a summon. Okay, good to see. It does actually clearly state it. I don't believe I saw that in the last one, so we could have figured that out based on that information. We'll still take you out though, because why not? Um, but that just makes it all the more clearer for us. Speaking of which, how do we go about this? I'm almost tempted to have something where we line up all of our weapons at the bottom and our chest plates go to the top. Is that going to be feasible? I honestly think it will be, because that's um, that's column or row, isn't it? So if we go like this and like this, get some items. Now, bear with me. We're going to put all of these along like this, the two long weapons. We then pop this down here, which now means that all of these weapons across here get buffed up. We could then go like this. This one's going to be sold, so we don't care if we can or cannot play that one. This goes up here as well. This can actually be a border one too. Now we pop this here too. This one can go here. That can go up there. Now all of these weapons should be able to be used again, except for this one. Because it's only adjacent and diagonal, isn't it? If adjacent or diagonal to armor, which they're not. So now every single weapon that we've got is now being applied to the whetstone every time we use it. I think that's pretty damn good. Um, everything else here is pretty trash. So we'll skip that. We've got another combat here which we can go to. Hopefully that was the right decision. Um, I don't always make the right decision, but uh, I think this time around we might be on to something. Let's see. Why don't we try and stack up some damage? I think that's 9 damage on every weapon every single time that we use it. How much damage do we have here? 103. We go one, two, three, and then take you out. That's even quite a bit of overkill. We then throw some shivs at you. And then the same, and then we just take you out again. Easy. More items, anything. We can take this one. That's decent damage. And then we keep going. Question mark. What do we want here? Expert bow. Interesting. Bashing shield. Did we have a shop in this area? We do not. And we don't really have much item space there either. Block to a shield. Haste to a shield. Okay, I would love... I would love to have gone for our clothing one again there, but we just can't justify it. And I honestly don't think we care about our spinning of the wheel there. It just feels like it's taking time for no real reason. Here's our Magma Core Finale here. Very nice. We go all the way through. Anything else that we want to do to improve this anymore? Not particularly, is there? We complete our little spiral here to finish off our big, is he the badger boss? He is the king. Now, obviously like doing our clubs here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, plus some block. Let's see how much we actually knock him down in terms of weakness. Yeah, I think we should maybe throw out a little buckler here too. What do you do? Whenever we... You add haste to yourself. When a shield is used, you add rage to yourself. Okay, I don't think that matters too much. Especially if you're just going to be taking a turn off to buff up. Or to summon an enemy. Why don't we just make all of our weapons bloody strong? Okay, even our shivs are doing 78 now. How much is our dagger doing? 153. I tell you what, these attacks here will finish you lot off. Then shiv ya, then smack ya. We will then smack ya, smack ya. I guess we could have thrown out dart and basically taken them all out. And then we get you with the assassin's dagger. Very nice and easy. Another challenge run completed. I guess it doesn't really care about this at all, does it? Where's our reroll? None of this, none of this matters for us. All armor, regeneration gem. 
right, we'll just take this because why not? Okay, we now go down to here. We take our cheese. And I think that's going to be that one completed here. So you can complete Continuing Endless. I'm still not a huge fan of that there so far. So I think we just go back and we go for our other challenge. Now, you know what we talked about last time. If we do finish off a little bit earlier here, then we can always go for our quick runs here, which is Boss Rush. So Boss Rush, go directly to each boss. Standard chest contain 12 plus items or plus 12 items. Start in a room with a chest. Backpack starts at five spaces wide and we've unlocked it due to hard mode. So we've got a bit of time to kill on this episode. Let's see if we can rush through this one here. Probably shouldn't take that when we've got all this to take. Oh, we got shurikens for days and a key. I don't think keys are useful at all, right? Because you just go straight to the boss. Okay, Ring of Rage adds rage to self. Rate something really good. I think we'll take that and hope for the best. Status effects on self. That could be really good for the poison if we get poison too. We could keep this in case we go for cleavers. We'll get rid of this weapon, because this weapon's just strictly better. That can only be used one time per turn. Adjacent diagonal shields and armor. Shields and armor. So if we go like this and like this, now this blocks for nine. I think we take this, and I do think we take this as well, but I, I do wonder taking the cleansing potion. I feel like not having a cleansing potion last time was a bit tricky. Now we keep the Ring of Rage, Rage, excuse me, in case we do get some mana. Everything else there is okay, but not fantastic. So we're basically relying on our wooden blade. Is that going to be enough for the boss fight? I genuinely have no idea. Now were the keys useful for this one? I don't believe so either. No, they weren't. Not a, not here anyway. There might there, oh, there is sometimes after the boss, isn't there? One, two, three. I think we just leave that one there. Now, I think we ignore the enemies in front there. In fact, I think we go for the meal. Pop this one too. And we just go straight for the one at the back. Even if we take some damage in the process, that's just um, part of what we're going for here. We skip the curse and take the damage. What are you all doing? You're adding another curse. Okay. You can put up one block. Then go one, two. Do we go for the meal right now? No, I don't think so. I also think we don't care about our cleansing potion for one poison. It's fine. We skip the curse again. If only this meal there gave us some extra food. Ooh, the block that you're putting on is a little bit annoying. Let's go one, two. Uh, and then I think we just go in on here. Will we get there? Are we going to have enough? Let's actually take this again. Finish reorganizing. What does it do? Okay, I guess we take this one too. The slow. It's too slow to sell. Does that mean less block? It does, yes. So now I think we just go for the kill. One, two, so that's 20 damage, and three, <laughs> we'll use this once, the slow doesn't really make much difference there anyway, we'll skip the curse, 15, oh my god, the block, is the block going to ruin it for us? I think it has, hasn't it? That's a lot of curses being added, uh, <laughs> one, two, and three, and we were three damage off, and we go down. So the boss rush is there as we skip the curse and we'll just take all the damage there anyway. That's a quick restart. That is a quick restart. Being so close and yet so far is pretty hilarious. Okay, we do have multiple chess pieces. We do have some boots. Only give us two block. Not worth it. Spiky club. Slow to enemy. Not bad. Doesn't get more expensive either. We do have a king cleaver. So if we do go for a future cleaver build there, that'd be very nice. Um, the meal is great. The dart is great. AoE, so is the acidic potion. We just want everything that can just throw a whole bunch of damage out there. So I think that's what we are building. Do we also go for adjacent shields and armor get plus two block? Adjacent diagonal armor gets two block. Adjacent we have to get that. We get less passive block. Maybe we just ignore that. Maybe we don't go for passive block whatsoever, which allows us to still use our hatchet for free. And everything else is kind of trash here, so maybe actually the slow and the weak could be quite useful. We'll just try this out. We're going to go to our crypt here again. I feel like our other way is even more dangerous, so we're going to go for a, an easier battle, shall we say. Okay, let's see. Take two. Barret King. We can start with our hatchet. Our nurse ratchet. 
We go one, two, or you get rage whenever we do that. Okay, but the slow does help us. Okay, you're summoning someone. So now we just go all the way in and we save our AOE. We do get luck. That could be quite handy at the end of this boss fight. We save our AOE for these enemies too. Now that's quite strong, but it is also, you're going for that. Why don't we actually throw out our debuff potion, which now means that you're doing no damage. And now we can just focus on attacking you like so. One block is enough. And then, yeah, the weakness kind of doesn't really matter. Or well, the slow, sorry. It's slow, not weakness. We need to get those two not confused anymore. We will just throw out our lucky star before we forget as well, so we get the luck at the end of this combat. Slow reduces the block they put on themselves. Weakness reduces their attack damage. They're two very different items, but also understandable how you might confuse them, as I have. 14 block, we'll go for one more, and we'll keep going for the damage here too. We've got to put our hatchet out there first. Why is it still doing five damage? We use one time each turn. Do you have any armor? We had armor. Oh no, armor is interesting. So the hatchet there, I always thought armor was whether you had shield on here, but no, of course armor is an armor based item, like a chest piece, like a helmet, like footwear. There we go, learn something new every day. Let's, let's throw out a whole bunch here. We're gonna get a whole bunch of items anyway. Um, I know it might be a bit premature, but I think we might have a good chance to take you out next turn anyway. Especially if we use our meal, which we may well do, just to avoid damage. But there we go, that's a new thing that I've learned as well. One, two, three, pop our food, four, five, and smack you on the way out. All right, well we did manage to make it through our first boss this time. Do we get some more cleavers? <clears throat> I have no idea. What I would like to do is have like a little bit of a space for a whole bunch of cleavers to go around. So maybe we just go you know, somewhere like this. Let's just go for that. Okay. Oh wow, two level ups. I forgot about that. There we go. All right, plenty of space, plenty of items to take. Plus one to the energy cost of all weapons and bows. For each space below the item gets plus 50% bonus. So how would that work with that one? 18 damage, but it costs two. On death, heals 30. All consumables heal more. So it's gotta be the barbell or the gem of Anna. One of the two. The barbell's great if we get more energy. Otherwise, oh, let's let's try it, shall we? I do like the gem of Anna. It is interesting, but we're not gonna go for it. Now we get our item with our four or 12 items or whatever it is. Okay, we do get our key that we could take through. And we use one time each turn conductive creates an ethereal shiv in this row. I don't think so. What about this? Eight damage, okay, not great, not great. Oh boy. We do have another act hatchet there, excuse me. And another cleaver. Reach space below, gets extra damage, what does it say? All adjacent cleavers are used, so that would mean that one too. But now they're three and two costs, so that's like all that we could play. Bandages when combat ends, not that useful. More max HP isn't too bad. Throwing star. So even those get the multiplier, so that's not too bad either. So we should be popping all of these down lower. You know, I still think it's worth taking this one. It is a one cost. Although six damage there is not great, but it is free. No, it's not. It's a one cost now. Um, liquid armor is good. And seven spikes itself. Honestly, that could stack up pretty damn quick. So we're going to take this. 18 damage and destroyed. It's okay, the debuff potion probably is worth it more. Short arrow is not going to do anything. Dark Lady's potion plus this. Screw it. Let's go for it. Let's try this out. I don't think it's incredible, but I do think it's got potential. Somewhat. The barbell is just a very odd choice here, I feel like. Apologies there as I keep kind of slowly drifting off of camera. It does happen sometimes, especially as my posture gets worse and worse. Okay, how do we deal with this? That's 15 plus that. Our hatchets now cost one as well though, so that's quite annoying, as do our throwing stars. Okay, I did forget about how that, you know, ruins our zero cost build here. And I feel like now that I think about it, the barbell would never work. We can't justify ever taking it. 
we need to go as far as we can on three energy here and making things cost more and not part of that plan. Now the only good news is that we do have the cactus so when we take damage, if there's a way to inflict damage ourselves, then we do get to um, build up some thorns. Dark Lady's Potion deals 18 damage. Wow, it's only to one? I thought it was to everyone. Gross. We'll go for a Liquid Armor. Thankfully, that's still free. One of the few things that is still free. Now, does this give us some thorns because we take damage? It does. All right. Now you're talking. That's our combo. Uh, how else do we do it? 25 block, 5, 6, 4. I don't know. Do we go for you in the back? Do we apply some Spiky Club damage? 12 damage to each of those, 13 damage to each of those. Let's just pop that one. How do I still have two energy left? Oh, because I used the two energy thing there, didn't I? Okay, never mind. That's how. Go throwing star, into throwing star. Some decent damage. Now, that doesn't give us extra thorns, does it? Only when we take damage through. So maybe we don't give ourselves any block this turn. Maybe we just let these two hit us. In fact, Oh, if only we had weakness, not slow. Alright. Nah, that's... Yeah, that's fine. We'll just let it happen. Go for our King Cleaver onto you. Decent couple of attacks. We do have some weakness. Not the end of the world. But I'm pretty sure that we are about to die here. 9, 18, 25 damage incoming. So we go 1, 2, 3. Now we could also throw... How much block? How much damage there do we have? Let's throw our Dark Lady so that you will die next turn. And we do get a little bit of extra spikes coming in. You're summoning more, so you're all about summoning there rather than doing damage yourself, which is awful for the build that we're trying to get here. Uh, gross. And now, oh wait, we're slowed. I should have used my Cleansing Potion first. Yikes. Okay, you are attacking. The good news is that we can use the Cleansing Potion now. We'll use it once. We can also then use a Hatch to take you out. Now we can also put up some block. So one and two. Now are you going to have dodge there against your own... You did dodge that. God, okay. Alright, alright. You are adding a whole bunch of slow. We can remove the slow. That's okay. We go one, two and three. Oh, no more uses this turn. Lovely. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to be able to make it through this one. In fact, I don't think we can anyway. We do. Oh, all of our all of our dodge is gone. How did that happen? Now I know for sure that we're done for. Oh, wow, our slow. Meaning that we put up no block whatsoever. Here we go. We got seven thorns again. So you're saying... You're saying this chance. We've got 17 weakness. You're now adding two dodge there. We survive one more turn. I think this is the turn that we say bye-bye. 20 damage, 19 damage. There's nothing that can be done. One, two, three. And down we go. I promise we will have the boss rush completed at some point there. Rough buckler, no. We won't go for a retry right now. We will actually end the episode there, but we will be continuing with some more of our lovely backpack hero here. Still having a lot of fun. Same with Brotato. We've made quite a bit of stream progress. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do drop a like and a subscription. It helps out a great deal. Check us out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash And I will see you all next time. Bye for now there, folks. See ya.